I'm going to be showing off my knife collection as of 2022. No, it's not big or fancy as I'm not the biggest knife guy, but I do like making videos, so I decided why not. Jumping in, we probably have my most used knife and go-to package opener. The Automatic Klashnikov 74 from Boker. This knife isn't uncommon and it works great for an entry level price to automatics. I got the Tanto style army green with a copper blade, but they come in a wide range of colors and blade types. This knife actually comes with a bit of a story as it's an homage to the AK-47 developed by Mikhail Klashnikov. Designed and sold to be handy, reliable, and cheap in price, which it kind of lives up to. Now, as I mentioned, this is an automatic knife, and that part, they do fairly well. The button doesn't require too much force to make it a hassle, but not too little to make it a danger. The fling is fairly balanced, so it won't fly out of your hand from recoil, but still deploys with some kick. The D2 steel blade and screws have held together nice, but the painted aluminum handles are starting to fade. And to be clear, this is not an EDC for me. This is a knife that usually just sits on display in my room. I assume that if I use this every day, constantly rustling around in my pocket, it wouldn't fare as well. Which contradicts the selling points that it is a rugged knife for EDC. Sure, it would work for that, but not without losing its looks. If you're looking for a stylish and convenient package opener, this is close to the best choice. But if you're looking for a day in, day out work tool, you might want to increase your price range. Okay, now I did want to show off my first one-of-a-kind knife made by my uncle. This was a gift from him at his first attempts at making knives. He's always been very, very good at woodworking as you can see with these immaculate handles, the purple heart stripe making it shine. The blade was just cut out of a piece of metal, making it not sharp, but very pointy. Sure, it's not the most useful tool, but it was made just for me, so it puts it on the top of my list. Karambits are cool, like really cool. This has to be my second favorite, right behind my custom made one. Even though it doesn't get the most use or have the most practicality, I just feel so badass holding one, which isn't that what all knife guys really do it for. The Boker Magnum Spike is a great entry into Karambits in my opinion. For starters, this is a big boy. Coming in at eight and a half inches, this doesn't feel like a toy, which, you know, it shouldn't. The simple design means you don't have to worry about much while still providing grip everywhere needed. The G10 handles have a really nice texture pattern to them and the minimal screws hold it in place. While the 440 steel blade keeps it sturdy and very, very sharp. Also, the molded sheath that comes with it improves it even more as it can sit on your side comfortably with a belt clip and the pop just adds so much to the experience. Also, a great flipper if you're brave enough to do it without the case on. All around, great buy. Would recommend it. This throwing knife set from Kershaw is very interesting. Not bad, not good, somewhere in between meh and okay. Visually, they're cool with a black wash finish to the C3PO steel, what? Steel plane? <laughs> and the ring. <laughs> the ring plus the paracord combined makes this look like a really cool ninja throwing knife. But the performance was, well... Okay, so I found myself using these more for flipping than throwing, as the small handle and ring made them a little uncomfortable sliding out of my hand. But this translated fairly well over to knife tricking. Although I'm new to this kind of flipping, I was able to pull off some pretty cool tricks. Now I'm not going to say these are unusable when it comes to throwing, I still take them out when I'm going to throw, they're just not preferable in my eyes. So if you're looking for a knife for cosplay or general looks that can still be useful, these are alright, but if you're looking for good throwers, I would pick something with a more basic design. 
And that's about it. As you can tell, it's not a very big or expensive collection, but I think that's what makes it important to show off. It features knives that the everyday person or beginner knife fan can get their hands on for an affordable price. And to be clear, these aren't all the knives I own, just the ones that stood out to me more than the average foldable. But other than that, if you liked the video, like it. If you subscribe the video, subscribe it, and I'll see you when I finish cleaning up grapefruit juice stuck on my desk.